1971, it reformed as Kansas 2, which then disbanded in 1973. Carrie Livgren has been there from the beginning and is credited with writing Kansas hits like Carry On, Wayward Son, and Dust in the Wind. Little hits like those. Along with Lynn Meredith, he's uh, fronting Protocol, the reformed Kansas. Protocol's new CD, Before Became After, hit stores yesterday. Carrie Livgren and Lynn Meredith join me now. Welcome to the program. It's great to be here, David. Uh, take me through the genesis of this, Carrie, because uh, I'm curious, uh, first of all, about the name, Protocol, and where that came from. Yeah. Well, it can kind of begin to look like a genealogical chart if you try to track the uh, genesis of the band. But uh, the title's pretty self-explanatory in a way. Proto, of course, means prototype or early version of, and cause, an American Indian word that uh, means Kansas. So at one time, in the early 70s, this band was Kansas, and then, of course, there was a third version of the band, which went on to be the one everybody's familiar with. Mm -hmm. But here we are releasing our debut CD 30 years after we disbanded. Lynn, tell me about the material we're going to hear on the album itself. Uh, does, it, does it harken back to the, to the old days? Or? Well, three of the songs do. Three are uh, ones we did in the 72-73 period, and Kerry kind of freshened those up. And then he wrote seven brand new ones. Uh, including one just a month ago that uh, will have some single potential. So it's relatively new music. You guys have known each other all these years. Uh, been in touch most of these years as well? Actually, we haven't. One of the most amazing things about this story is uh, we all lost track of each other. And uh, we had some demo tapes of this band that were circulating around on the Internet. They were actually bootlegs. And for once, that worked in our favor. Because of these bootlegs, people got very interested in this band that was doing this very innovative music back in the 70s. And I was contacted by a small label to release these bootlegs legally, officially. And that led to a reunion where we all got together and saw each other. And it occurred to me, uh, wow, wouldn't it be interesting to see what we could do now? And so we started playing together, and one thing led to another. I began writing music for this band. And it's a combination, and it's based on our history together, but it's totally new stuff. It's, uh, it's kind of hard to put your finger on really what it is. And, and while uh, the, the relationships probably felt for, probably pretty easy to get back together once again, it must have been a little strange considering all the technological advances and all that's changed in music over the years, Lynn, to, to get back into the studio together. Was that fun? It was great. And for five of us, we had never had the opportunity to record because when we disbanded in 73, Carrie went on to a great career, and we all went to college, and and got married and got jobs and then we get this bizarre phone call 18 months ago and which led to the reunion so it was really our first time to record and it was very exciting something we'd always wanted to do what's uh, what's the plan here is he, you guys going to take this on the road or uh, how well, that, play this? that of course is the plan I would say at this point more than a plan it's a hope uh, our CD just came out yesterday mm -hmm. so this is a, a really a debut so we're going to wait to see how that pans out uh, we've already played some, uh, one show we basically got together just to see really what it would feel like to all play together. And this was, of course, after the CD. Uh, there are two different things, playing live and, and in the studio, and, you know, because of the technology. But we did play one show in Kansas City, and it went very well, and that that's really kind of pushed the button, you know. We're ready to roll, I think. Does it take some time when, when you've been apart from each other for a long time to, to get into the rhythm of playing before a live audience? Obviously, communicating yeah. on the stage, I imagine, without talking to one another is somewhat important. Is there sort of a rhythm to that? Uh, it's, it's the riding the bicycle syndrome. You know, if you've ever done that, a part of your career, it, it comes back to you pretty quick. But I think the amazing thing about this, this story is these guys that hadn't played for 30 years, and then I bring them to the studio, and this is very challenging music to do. And they just, just came through wonderfully. Uh, there were times when I was sitting in the control with my mouth hanging open because Lynn hadn't sung for 30 years, and this guy's doing these incredible vocal performances. Was that, was that kind of strange coming coming back, or, you know, warming up the instrument once again? It was beyond strange because, you know, a couple karaoke parties, and that's about it in 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, you all will, will get out on the road. You said it's a hope uh, at this point. It sounds like it's going to happen more, more often than not. Oh, but I think it will. As we started the show here, we're talking about the, the global music industry. What do you all make of, of this uh, as you stand and look at the business today? Well, we've always had a, a wonderful sense of timing. The day we're on uh, CNN FM debuting our CD, you tell us the CD that sales are down like seven points. But in the U.S., <laughs> things are picking up, <laughs> which does bode well. But well, this has been a multi-year problem for, for the industry. Yeah, it is. It is. I think it's all part of the strange times we live in. And uh, one of the things we've done, we've really, really tried to put together some music that is very hopeful in tone. It's very up. Uh, there's a song called Words of Honor on the CD that uh, 
Uh, this has only happened to me a couple of times in my life, but uh, it was a last-minute addition to the album, and the last two times I did that was Carry On Wayward Son and Dust in the Wind. So hopefully that bodes well. And it's a song about hope and integrity and goodness and honor, and uh, I actually sent it to some of our troops in Iraq. I was going to say something, that, it sounds like uh, something that, that we need more of today. I've got, I've got a Marine friend that's over there right now in Fallujah, and we sent the, the song to him, and uh, I think that I think is it's a pin related to that at all, or is it? Uh, you know, when Kansas was Kansas has always been a big military supporter band. We did USO stuff and everything when nobody else was doing it. And a serviceman gave me this pin. I don't even know what unit it's from or whatever, but I, I wear it with honor as an honor. Uh, Lynn, given the amount of time that, that it had been before, before sort of coming out of retirement uh, to start singing once again, uh, what happens? Uh, is, is your your real life, I'll call it, on hold at the moment, or how do you view that? It's not on hold. We all work. We still have jobs and families and go to football games and all the things normal people do. We've done this predominantly on weekends, time off, and uh, you know we'll just have to wait and see what comes of it. But our families have all been very accommodating and supportive. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this is a newsworthy worthy item, actually. We all work. I mean, yeah. <laughs> how often do you hear that? Well, what, what do you all do when you realize? I have an Internet business, and we uh, we develop websites. And uh, our keyboard player is an engineer for uh, NPR and uh, public television in Nebraska. Uh, but I think all the guys are ready to pretty much drop what they're doing to... To go do this. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting the Blues Brothers feeling. Right? Yeah, we're getting the band yeah, back together. Yeah, uh, the, the group is called Protocol. Before became After is the name of the album. Thanks for being with us today. Hey, it's Thank really you. a pleasure. Best of luck to you both. Appreciate it.